the abject suffering with Gary and Cole, the video component to the bonus podcast that you get with the application, watch out for Firewall's application. Get the application um, available for iOS and Android. Um, Want to hear a sad short story? Sad short story is I got 10 minutes into this fucking game and my computer ran out of hard drive space so it stopped recording. I was just going to say fuck it and just play out the rest of my 20 minutes. However, uh, I accidentally closed the window on the emulator. So, uh, yeah, I put 10 minutes in this terrible game and I'm going to have to do it another uh, 20 minutes. I'm just going to make this video 20 minutes long. I know that's not an uninterrupted chain of Kid Cool, but let me tell you, and you will see by my Kid Cool mastery, that uh, I do have uh, 10 minutes of this game under my belt. I'm just letting this run for the story, and because the more cutscene stuff we watch, the less I have to play of this really, really bad Mario knockoff. Um, it's not... It's terror. It's really bad game. It's not that noteworthy in its badness, other than the fact that it's really a flagrant Mario ripoff. And there are a bunch of little ROM hack tricks and stuff. You'll see. I'm sure I'll fall for some of them, even though I'm able to get through the first level now. At the 10 minute mark, I just got past the first level. And then uh, realized that my, my hard drive had run out of space. So, hope you like this music, because uh, this game's real into this like eight note repeating refrain. Got this idiot here on the left with his TNs. And his TN short shorts. Um, Looks like Porka, like Porky from, uh, or like Pockums or Pokey from uh, Earthbound. Kind of what I think of him as. So Kid Cool has got to gather the seven herbs. Let's do it. Let's get through it. If I go through, if I run past this bush fast enough, which I get this little fuzzy friend, he makes a big difference. Um, but if you lose him, there's really no way to get him back. And he appears at another place in the level as well. Um. But, yeah. Look at how vertical your jump is. And it, like, you, the, so the big problems in this are, like, jump mechanics and, uh, inertia. Like, the inertia in this game is terrible. Like, that... You just, you, it feels bad, you have too much of it, um, feels unnatural, constantly making jumps that Mario would have made, or failing jumps that Mario would have made. Terrible. Alright, let's see if I can get to this next platform. This is tough for me for some reason. Alright. The one thing I'll say is kind of neat is it has this whole kind of skyway up here. So if you don't want to deal with any of the nonsense on the ground, you can spend some time up here. I don't know if I make that jump. Okay. This is the kind of tricky platforming I bet you a kid cool excels at. I meant that to be sarcastic, but I did get it on the first try. <laughs> first level, no deaths. Check that out. It took me 10 minutes to get through that last time because it took me that long to get used to the controls. Um, Alright, one more chance at this bonus thing. I don't even know what I actually want. I guess a, a kid cool. Hey, there we are. I'm the luckiest kid cool player in the world. And keep my fuzzy friend. There is nothing immediately differentiating this level from the last one. Um, this is a dumb thing you can do in Kid Cool. Uh, I didn't jump in time. If you jump on the last bounce, you can you can still jump. This Kid Cool skips across water on his behind. Why even take that thing away from me? If it's so, if I can just get it back at the beginning of every check, checkpoint like that. I'm gonna take two hits of Fuzzy Friend. Ah. Uh, see, I. Oh, oh. 
Did I just lose Fuzzy from there? It may as well be like a death sentence. I want to live in a world without a fuzzy friend! Fuzzy friend? I almost had that. Oh, of course. Alright. Do you just traps? Ugh. Like, Mario would have made that jump. Like, my drum jump just- my drum. My drum just don't got enough horizontal to it. The, my drums. Oh. So I increased my time. Worries me a little bit, because I think that I do have a time limit. I have, like, three days to get these herbs. I don't know if that's measured in, like, real time or what, but... Okay. No! Ugh. Oh, kid, cool! One up is probably a double edged sword since it's giving me more time as well. But it's kind of like mercifully placed because it means I more or less get unlimited tries of this terrible segment. I hit, I, I totally hit the button. I hit jump there. You know, I mean, I guess you don't really need me to convince you that the controls to Kid Cool are really shitty. And I'm not going to start off at that halfway point now that I've continued. I'll show that little cutscene next time it pops up. I just, I forgot that I taped a bunch of this without, uh, taped. I got out my VHS and taped a bunch of the stuff before, uh, before I'm recording now. Oh, there's two of those guys. That's why it seemed like they took two of my things. Alright. Making progress over the last run. It's all about incremental progress. Kid Cool is the NES Dark Souls. Be patient. Try eliminating one at a time. Be wary of charging through. Yep, see, I, I holding to the right as hard as I can. There's no way for me to make that jump. Alright. Okay, good. Alright. No? Oh, my fucking god! Ah! Ah! Kid Cool, you wily son of a bitch. I guess that isn't a one-up because I wouldn't have had to like stop and continue. I don't know what that's giving me other than just more time. Is it like a negative power-up? Like I, because I don't want my timer to go up. I assume I could be doing a lot of different things with my time here. Like every instinct in my um, one me up. The uh, the most insidious part of abject suffering with Gary and Cole. The podcast that is self-inflicted, I'm not complaining, and we designed it and everything, is this half-hour limit. Because, like, everything in my- every fiber of my being is telling me to quit. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna assume I might want to skip over this. Good. Alright. Um, like, everything is saying, like, you got, you know, 20 minutes left of your lunch break. Oh. Uh, Roll, you know, jump into bed, turn on the heater, curl up next to the rowers, and just, you know, I'll show this nonsense, and just enjoy yourself. Just enjoy yourself for once in your fucking life, you know? Live it up. But nope. Self-inflicted. I understand. But nope. You know? I forgot to show that thing again. Like, I'm certain I'll die again, so... Don't you worry your pretty little heads about it. 
Right, so 10 minute mark, it turns all dark fuchsia. That happened uh, in my last, my failed game as well. Um, don't feel like you missed very much from me not recording that. I got a bit of a cold, so I'm not at my best uh, as far as witty commentary here. So also, like I said before, this isn't the kind of game, like... Like, the things that are wrong with it... You don't really talk about it, they just kind of... They come across and feel. It's a kinesthetics thing, like, entirely. Um... Alright, I don't really think I can, like... Do this as it's intended. Oh. Oh. That was, that was weird. How come that hasn't happened any other time I've fallen into a, a ravine or a pit? Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. I'm literally playing this like, you know, you can Dark Souls where I'm just kind of memorizing everything I need to do. And then, you know, it is like super trial and error. Alright. Yeah, that guy was trying to stop me. Alright. I don't think I can get enough speed to, like, do my skip. But I also clearly can't make that jump, so I guess I have to make it from... land on it and then just hold to the right and jump again. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. I'm gonna keep running out my clock using this, uh, one me up. Because I want to see what happens if I get to 20 minutes. Exciting unnatural color will the sky turn at that point. Yep, see? I just like, I hit like an invisible wall of syrup in the sky every single time I try to like jump. Unless I'm like going full bore before I hit jump. Ooh! I like that. I wouldn't have made that if I would have kept holding right, I don't think. But I'm gonna try that next time. Um, because if I can get through that a little easier, I'm going to take it. So here's that cutscene I, I didn't watch. It's very understanding. Yeah, cure your fucking self. You can bring the dead back to life, king. Why do you need seven herbs? I had turbo on, that's why I kept throwing my little friend. Mm-hmm. Oh, a real one up. I'll take it. I'm glad I fell down there because I want this time up. So I can see all the colors of the rainbow. Alright, let's try to just... Oh, well, that was kind of my fault. I made my first jump late. I guess, like, technically it's all my fault, but... Man, the, the sky is changing at a rapid pace. Maybe three days is like 20 minutes in Kid Cool Land. I'm gonna get the non-standard game over here. I just hold to the right. Do I make it? Yes. But I had to jump as soon as I hit that thing. All right. Fair enough. It's really, you can't, really don't have enough time to hit jump there. Then I need to start holding him back so I can land on that platform. Then I'll do one ineffectual vertical jump and uh, end up hitting the bug anyway. So let's see if that works. <laughs> oh, 
Not surprisingly. Okay. Alright. I could probably make some real progress in this game if I was using save states. Which, like, to be fair, I totally could. Um, I need to get on that top platform. Alright, so this is the, uh, day, day, night of day one. Cool, cool. This is the furthest I made it into Kid Cool. Gonna join the Kid Cool clan. Yay! Each one, each time you get through one of these levels, it's a huge deal because, like, and bam. Aw. Um, because I'll continue at level 1 3. Thank you. Thank you. Weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, I feel like taking the high road is going to be more dangerous. Ugh. If I would have just jumped when I usually jump, I probably would have hit one of those blocks above my head. But we'll see what might make sense here in a minute. How much time do I have left? So that's 20 minutes. A kid cool. I'm not really beholden to play it any longer. I already did my 10 minutes. So, fuck this shit. Anywho, um, thank you for watching. 20 minutes of Kid Cool. I was just counting those seconds to see if it was actually uh, true. I'm not obviously not going to beat it. Um, or anything like that. That's not the agreement. That was never part of the deal. This is awful, but it's not... Eric has a lot of Eric who suggested this game. Uh, it was a piece of shit. Um... He, uh, this game is not nearly as, uh, as bad as maybe he thought it was. Like, it's insidious, and it controls like garbage, but, uh, you know, I played worse games. I've also played better. Uh, thank you, uh, so if this, this, if you want to hear me and Cole talk about this and other things, um, check out the app on iOS and Android, and, uh, we get a little cut every time you buy one of those. It helps support the show, and, uh, but yeah, we wanted to give you, give you a taste, so... Good night, good luck, like, like, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a good one. Fuck you, kid cool.